Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to learn about verb and its kinds. Verb is an action, action word, or we can say verb is a word that shows state or action. A verb may tell us what a person or thing does, or what subject it does, what a person or thing is, or what is done to a person or to a thing. For example, I eat food. Eat here is verb. She weeps. Weeps here is verb. The house is built. Built here is verb. Now, kinds of verb. Kinds of verb are three in number. Before discussing kinds of verb, let me tell you conjugation of verb. Conjugation or we can say forms of verb. First form, present tense. Second form, past tense. And third form is past participle. First participle. In first sentence, it is used, it is first form of verb, it's past or second form is it, and past participle is eaten, weep, second form is wept, third form is wept. Go, second form is went. Word form is gone. Walk. Second form walked. Third form walked. You should conjugate. You should try this at home. You should make about 50 to 100 forms of these verbs. Kinds of verb. Or classes of verb. We have three kinds or three colors. First is transitive. Transitive verb is a verb that denotes the action passes on from subject to object or simply we can say transitive verb in transitive verb both subject and object are required. I, for example, I run a race. He eats food. The boy climbed the tree in this sentence I run a race so subject action passes on from subject to object he eats food action passes from subject to object 
if we will write only here he eats it does not give us complete sense we are unable to understand what he eats so object is required object is needed in transitive verb the boy here is subject action passes from boy to the free so if we will write the boy climbed it does not clear what boy climbed so object is required or object is needed in transitive verb now second one is in transitive verb to an intransitive verb denotes an action which does not pass on from subject to object intransitive verb or we can say in this sentence object is not required for example he sleeps so here it's clear that he sleeps object is not required same tarik whips here it's clear so object is not required uh, let me tell you one thing we have conjugate we did conjugation before this here i have used word sleep sleep is sleep is first form of verb i have added here s why s has been added here as in my previous lecture i had told you that in case of third person singular we have three persons first person second person and third both are singular and plural both are having here he it is third person singular in case of third person singular we use s or es or ies to the verb but it is also first form of verb it is second form is slept slept weep wept wept now third one is third one is auxiliary verb or helping verb it helps this verb it helps us to form tense or mood of the main verb he is going to school your is is helping verb i am a teacher your am is helping verb it shows state that i am a teacher i hope you would have understood it thank you